Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Today we <laughs> have another coffee bean exclusive. Mm. Exclusive? Exclusive. Exclusive. An explosive exclusive. Yes. Um, but you, you, you can take the... Okay. Take it away. Okay. We got a couple of small ice blended peppermint mocha crumble is the actual name. I didn't know what the difference was peppermint mocha or peppermint mocha crumble, but ice blended, that was the option. So that's what we got. Um, apparently it's supposed to come with some sort of drizzle and they forgot it. But like a chocolatey topper. Yeah, but it's okay. It's yes. fine. We don't yes, need this is a, a part of their holiday drink menu. Mm -hmm. um, last time we got the cookie butter, which was pretty tasty, mm -hmm. pretty uh, satisfying, not super coffee flavored. But it was good. It was good. It was. Uh, I think I said something like it was similar to a milkshake or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was pretty good. It was really good. Uh, and this, this too. It's an ice blended. You can kind of see some of the little chocolatey yes. bits in there. The crumble, mm. as as they say. Mm. And uh, you know, it's for two smalls. It was nine 90. something. Nine, nine, nine ninety. So about like smalls. about five bucks per each. So they're a little uh -huh. pricey. The coffee bean is supreme and. <laughs> Well, they charge supreme prices. Mm -hmm. Not like the clothing brand, but like the, you know. <laughs> yeah. Just like like Supreme Pizza or something. It's 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 mm -hmm. it's, oh, it's, it's top of the line. Mm -hmm. So, let's let's see if it holds up to its top of the line reputation. Let's Cheers. Let's see. Oh, you got so much more whipped cream. I know they sort of maybe they ran out. I don't know. It's okay. I don't care. It's fine. Try it out. Okay. Mmm. Oh my god. There's like chunks of like Oreo cookie. I know it's not prob it's probably not Oreo cookie. Well it's like chocolate cookie crumble. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. It's really nice. I don't know how much peppermint I get. There's a little peppermint. It's like it's very faint. Very faint. Mostly chocolate. Mm-hmm. With a, with a little bit of coffee flavor. Kind of yeah. like the cookie butter where there was a, like a little hint of... Because of, uh, she said there wasn't actual espresso. It was like... Right. It's... Uh, she said like coffee flavored or something? Or yeah, the, she said she, there's coffee in it. The barista but. said that it was... Yeah, it was like coffee flavored but not necessarily coffee. It was confusing. Yeah, so I don't really know. But. So, but all I know is it tastes really good. It's good. I think that... If oh, you what? I was gonna say it almost reminds me of the uh, Jack in the Box Oreo shake. It, yeah, mm hmm. Just like. N not as thick, not as like ice creamy. Maybe not as ice creamy. A little bit more peppermint too, just like a slight. Like if you put a little bit of peppermint in that and you mixed it. That's. It, it's nice, yeah. It's got that really cool texture. Mm hmm. That really, you know, good dynamic of like crunchy and creamy. Mm hmm. Hmm. Would I order this again? Probably not. I love peppermint. I love chocolate. I love coffee. But uh, for me personally, I'm more of a black coffee drinker. Um, more of the, the heavy stuff. Oh. What are they doing? Did they get coffee? They're trying to be featured. Yes. Should we put them in the, in the window? Like, <laughs> what are you guys doing in there? They're doing the thing. Yeah. They're not. It's uh, we're in the parking lot. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's a bu this is a busy location. We're out running errands, and we're like, oh, there's a coffee bean. Let's, yeah. Mm -hmm. let's do so, it. Um, what do you what do you give it? Mm. I, I give it a, a a seven out of ten and a thumbs up. It's really good. It's just maybe not for me. Yeah. I th I think if somebody who really enjoys these flavors. Or somebody who's like really big on the blended drinks or the whipped cream and mm -hmm. stuff. It's a little too much for me. It's a lot. If, it's a dessert. <laughs> yeah. If you know us, you know that we like snacks and eating fun stuff. But sometimes it's a little much. Yeah. Like I like coffee as like a... Uh, I'm, I'm rubbing my eyes. I'm all tired. <laughs> What's uh, in this? <laughs> fall asleep. No. Um, I like coffee as sort of like a like an energy boost sort of like an energy drink or something. Sometimes we do Red Bulls or, you know, stuff Rock like stars, that. Rock stars, whatever. Depending. Um, but I do like my caffeine from coffee. 
and uh this is good but yeah like like you said it's more of a dessert like if you went out and got dinner mm -hmm. or even lunch and afterwards you were like kind of wanting to satisfy your sweet tooth perfect thing for that perfect for little sluggers perfect for little sluggers mm -hmm. um because you know little kids might want the sugar yeah might want stuff like that yeah this is it's good it's I, since it's a holiday drink it's not here all the time to be fair i've had this drink hot before and i freaking loved it like yeah, I loved it. Hot might be a different story. I might yeah. actually really appreciate the hot version. Sort of like the cookie butter, but... Yeah, um, mm, we, we still got to do our uh, nighttime. Yeah, <laughs> and unfortunately, over here, even though I'm wearing a, a cardigan sweater, it's about 78 degrees <laughs> in, mm -hmm. in good old jolly California. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which, is, which isn't so bad. I mean, we have the, the air on, and it's mm -hmm. just like for thanksgiving slash just holiday weather in general um hanukkah's coming up happy hanukkah happy hanukkah yes and enjoy those eight crazy nights oh yeah fully uh, light the candles spin the dreidel do all that fun stuff yeah there, there's more to it than that um well that's just the the first few things that come to mind um the main yeah yeah, yeah. the main things but so we got a lot of ho holidays coming up Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. um, Hanukkah, Christmas, followed by Kwanzaa, followed by New Year's. Uh, <laughs> and then it starts and again. And then it starts all over again. Mm -hmm. But uh, for a holiday drink, this is fun. It's it's, it's good. It's definitely a fun holiday drink. I feel like I'm drink. sort of getting off track here. But, so uh, let, let, let me politely jump in yes. and say that I would give this probably the iced one. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I feel like I'll give it, uh, I kind of feel like a seven would be the most I would give this, honestly. Because I was thinking about six and a half, but I felt like that might be But it's be tasty, insult. though. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, if I was, but, you know, let's say we had a, a long night of partying, <laughs> I tend to, to, as, as the kids say, get the munchies late at night. <laughs> And that's just a natural thing. It's just, you know, it just uh, happens. we're night people. Mm -hmm. We stay up late, we unfortunately. Up <laughs> we later wake up late. in the day. Depend depending on the thing, um, our, our work slash, uh, I guess you would call it just life schedule. Yeah. Keeps us up later hours and, and you know, so it kind of works for us. Um, so. It sounds so mysterious. Like, yeah. What do you guys do? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. You'll find out later. Eventually. Eventually. We'll, we'll tell you. Yeah. At but, some point. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. We, uh, if I was staying up late and I was really craving something like, see, the only problem there is that this establishment, I think, closes at 7. Something like that. I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm not sure. But if you're, like, like I said, if you're craving something sweet, um, and you didn't want to go full bore on the milkshake because mm -hmm. you know this is still pretty sugary but i don't know if it's as calorically rich as like let's say a actual ice cream scooped yeah probably milkshake. not mm. so this would be maybe i could be super wrong too we didn't do any <laughs> research on like calories or serving sizes unfortunately no but it's we're okay. bad reviewers but, but uh, take our words for it. Yeah, take our word for it. It's really good. Yeah. Um, me, de depending on your palate, some people might really love this. Some might be like, mm -hmm. kind of eh. Mm -hmm. I think we're somewhere in the middle. I don't hate it. I really do like it, but it's just. I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. Yeah. So, I would much rather get something else than this. Uh, next time, probably. Do you like this or the cookie butter more? How dare you? <laughs> um, I would say probably the the cookie butter, just because that's such a unique, yeah, tasting one, and it's so fun and like. Oh. Well, and because at most places you can get peppermint flavors during the holiday season, mm -hmm. and it's not super like rare. It's kind of like the pumpkin spice of like winter. Yeah. 
You know, pumpkin, <laughs> like that. pumpkin comes around during the fall like times fall. Mm -hmm. and peppermint sort of takes its spot, you know, late November. It's and good. Uh, yeah, so it, it's, it's good. I just, I'm, I, I know we keep saying how good it is and I'm being like, <laughs> but it's not great. Um, but it, th that's how it is. I yeah, don't know. On, honestly, truthfully, yeah. If you had this, you'd probably feel the same way, maybe. Yeah, maybe. You might like it, but it might not be, like, your favorite drink. Mm hmm You know? Yeah. So, I mean, I guess that's all we really have to say there. <laughs> Pretty much. I keep drinking it, so maybe I should just relax. Yeah. I, I, I wanted to keep drinking mine, but, like, the amount of sugar sort of was sitting... I'm feeling it. ...sort of weird in my <laughs> stomach. Yeah. Right now. So, we'll be up late uh, tonight buzzing with... Uh, sugars and you're, it's this like this is really fun actually that, remind, comfortable. that reminds me of like the mardi gras mask whoa cool like with the nose and stuff you know what i'm talking about yeah or like the eyes wide shut mask mm -hmm. oh yeah we saw yeah. we saw that on tv um, somewhere yeah <laughs> so uh anything else i feel like i'm just stammering because I, I am too i am too um that there there you have it there you have it that is our holiday drink ice blended this one's in the bag. This one's in the bag. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Uh, don't touch that mouse. Don't touch that mouse. Um, have a good day. Okay. <laughs> I uh, can't do it. <laughs> have a good day. Have a good day. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh, no, it has to be backwards. Oh. It's a pretty good LA Beast impression. Yeah, it is. Have a good day. That's perfect. Right? Yeah. It's, it's so good. good. Um, I'm trying to, anything else? Um, um, this is. This is. The voice of, of us doing stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay. We like YouTube. We wa we, we watch it a lot. Um, All the time. Yeah. We're, we're not even talking. We, we are done with the food review, just so you know. So, if you're <laughs> sticking around, you're just hanging out with us. You're just chilling. Um, you have nothing else going on. Hey. We, we've promoted Townsend's <laughs> yep. before. Badlands. Uh, Badlands Shugs. But Joe Para, hilarious comedian. Oh my gosh. Was on uh, a couple Townsend's. couple episodes of Townsend's. And he fits in like, <laughs> like so, so well. So effortlessly. It was weird. Because I was like, who's this guy? My name is Joe Para. He does like really good impressions a lot. It's really cool. <laughs> and yeah, so... Uh, uh, no, no, last thing, last thing. Uh, we've been watching uh, travel, travel vlogs and videos because uh, we're we're gonna start hopefully doing some sort of traveling, possibly mm -hmm. uh, out of state, out of country. We're hoping, but uh, yeah, uh, bald and bankrupt is a very interesting channel. Entertaining, super like, like yeah, captivating because that guy is so bold. And, very and go, just bold and bald does it bold bald and bankrupt <laughs> we got the bbb right there uh and then uh, i don't i don't know if there, there's any relation or anything but harold balder yeah b-a-l-d-r yeah and harold with two a's yeah Her, he, he often calls himself Geraldo, but yeah. i'm not sure if that's just like a joke or if that's like it might just be easier in some places yeah uh he, he's a he's a norwegian fellow who does a lot of the same things they actually do do vlogs together bald yeah. and balder yeah and it's really funny because it yeah. just works like that and um they are a little more pg-13 so uh if 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 you're uh looking for a family friendly content maybe you know stay away because they tend to you know have a little bit more colorful language yeah they you stuff. know they drink but it's they... they're they're grown adult men in i believe their 40s who, i think so who, yeah. who are traveling around and it's mm -hmm. you know they're they're sort of like pirates you know they're yeah. they're very uh they're very uh you know i don't even know the word uh, lively lively very, very colorful adventurous. very like you know mm. uh I'm almost like just open to exploring and oh, open yeah. to trying. A I feel lot like I'm foods. doing a review on their channels now. Oh my gosh! But uh, but yeah, th thumbs up on 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 them. Uh, good channels. Uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, Nicholas Green Outdoors. So many. Steve, Steve, <laughs> we Steve Wallace. So much. Uh, Tom Willett Feature Man. Tom, feature Man. Feature Man's the greatest. Greatest of all time. Um, and hopefully your confidence will be back. Be back. 
where it was in your teens in your teens hopefully you're as confident as you were when you were a teenager thank you so much for watching thank you for watching goodbye bye <laughs>